and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And now today you'll be looking at this puzzle thinking, what on earth is this? Well, this has come in from one of our patrons as a suggestion off the back of yesterday's uh, Sudoku uh, video, which was, um, I solved a puzzle by Fistimafel, uh, which was a hybrid puzzle of Sudoku and a logic problem called Snake Egg. Well, one of our patrons remembers this puzzle, which apparently appeared a few years ago on gmpuzzles.com by none other than Serkan Urakli. Um, now, Serkan is probably in the puzzle community. Uh, he must be about the most famous setter there is. He's incredibly prolific and incredibly brilliant. Um, and the thing that strikes you when you look at this puzzle is how on earth, how on earth can this puzzle exist? Um, now, it's been published on gmpuzzles.com, so it's going to have a unique solution. But a bit like with Mitchell Lee's Miracle Sudoku, you look at this and just think, no, 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 no. <laughs> this, this, this shouldn't work. And even if it does work, Serkan, how on earth did you have the idea to think this might work? Because it just looks bonkers. Um, now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remind ourselves of the rules of straight snake egg puzzles. Of course, they're a logic problem, not a Sudoku problem. So let me read you the rules. I've got, I've got an example here as well. Uh, let me show you. Right, there we go. So here's an example. And we, what we have to do is we have to draw a snake, which is a one cell wide path in the grid whose head and tail are given by the circled cells. The snake can touch itself diagonally, but cannot touch itself orthogonally or revisit any square. Besides the snake, the remaining cells must form exactly nine white areas, one of each size from one to nine. Numbers in the grid must be part of the white areas of the indicated size. So let's, let's have a look at this and see how it works. So you can see this is the original puzzle. And obviously this isn't a one to nine example, it's a one to five example. But the original puzzle just has one digit in the grid, the head and the tail of the snake. And you can see in the finished grid, there's a gray snake, which is one cell wide, never touches each other itself orthogonally. It touches itself diagonally a couple of times. And all of the remaining areas are of individual size. So there's a one cell area, a two cell area, a three cell area, four and five. And that is what we have to do. Um, now, I have to say, I mean, as I think I've probably indicated already, this looks, uh, this looks a challenge to say the least, and I attempt it with some trepidation. Uh, Mark has had a go at this earlier today. It took him 45 minutes to solve. Um, now, he doesn't like logic problems as much as he likes Sudoku, so hopefully this won't be an enormously long video, um, but we're going to have to see how it goes. Uh, do have a go yourselves. My goodness, what a puzzle to be able to try. Uh, just click on the link under the video to play. Uh, I'm guessing this took Mark all of about two and a half seconds to put into our software because it, all he had to do was to create, what's that, a 10 by 10 grid and put four things into it. With that, let's get cracking. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to label snake cells in purple a bit like i did yesterday and i'll label non snake cells in blue again just so that my brain is uh working the same way as it was yesterday which doesn't always seem to be the case um right okay and i guess we start with the one cell region because this can't have any blue squares attaching to it orthogonally because if it does self-evidently this would not be a one cell region anymore it's now a two cell or greater region so we can actually start with some fairly simple deductions to get more snake sections um, I should say actually while I'm trying to spot the next step if you are a patron of the channel uh, do check out our Olympic Sudoku which has been getting some great uh, great responses so far that's that's available for anyone who supports us on Patreon at the moment as our June reward puzzle. Right, now let's have a look at this one cell region because we can't make all of those purple like that because obviously this is now, it's not a snake anymore. Well, it's not a, it's a snake that's sort of eaten its own tail um, and that's not going to work. So what we need to do is to think about which of the cells which of these four cells 
are going to have to be blue. Ah, now, so if we look at the perimeter cells, these two cells, could either of those be blue? Well, the answer is no. If I try and make one of them blue, this self-evidently, the snake section here, has just become the head or tail of a snake. And there can only be one head and tail of a snake. One head and one tail, but you know what I mean. This can't be blue. That's got to be purple. That's got to be purple. That's got to be blue. That's got to be blue. Because the snake can't turn back on itself and hit itself. And exactly one of those cells must be purple. We can't have both of them being blue because again, that's going to isolate this cell and make it into a head or tail. And we can't have both of them being purple because we don't want to create a ring. So one of these is purple, one of these is blue. see immediately how to tell. Look, this square, that's got to be blue because it, if, otherwise it's going to be the head or tail of the snake again. Oh, now there's a bit of logic. Suddenly a bit of logic for you. Look, this two. So this is part of the two cell region that's not on the snake. So this region, which is now of size two, that it must take another blue cell. Now let's just look at this cell for a moment. If this cell is snake, what has to happen? Well, the snake has to come into this cell and turn, which would parcel off this two cell region. Well, that's not possible. So that cell has to be blue. But this cell could be, well, if it does that, for example, that looks like it could work. Uh, what now? Ah, now here's a bit of logic again. Look, we've got a two region here. Now, if that comes downwards, we know every cell attaching to the orthogonally attaching to the two region has to be snake. So these two squares would have to be snake. Well, that doesn't work because now this is not the head or tail of the snake. It's sort of part of the snake. Um, so in fact, we can write this has to be a snake section. Oh, right, okay, and we can go further with this as well. Now, let's think about whether both of those squares could be snake. If both of these squares are snake, sorry, not snake, both of these squares are not snake, <laughs> um, this becomes the head or tail of the snake again. So we keep having to use this logic where we're trying not to create snake heads and snake tails. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's interesting, isn't it? Because now if one of these, we can't have both of these cells being blue and we can't have both of them being snake because that doesn't look much like a snake. Now that means that one has got to be blue, one has got to be purple. Ah, now, ooh, yeah, there's two things we can note from this, two things. The first, is that as one of these is purple, neither of these cells can be purple. Because if either of these squares is purple, this is no longer the head of the snake again. Let me show you, if that's purple, we know one of these is purple. So one of these is going to make this just part of the snake rather than the head or the tail. So the sort of west and south of the tail or the head, whichever one it is, um, maybe the snake can tell us, I don't know. But these both have to be blue. Um, but the other thing I noticed was this. This square also has to be snake because whether this comes up here, it has to turn this way because it can't turn back, or comes up here and turns this way, it can't turn down. So this is always snake as well. What an idea this is. I mean, this <laughs> so now now the thing that's striking me is that this head of the snake and this tail of the snake if that's the way around we're going are, are getting close together and I must not connect these anytime soon because obviously there's a huge swathe of white over here and we don't want to have a very short snake um, no jokes please um
So, so if these don't connect anytime soon, can we use that logic? We probably can. I'm, I'm not quite seeing how to. Um, so you guys will have to write in the comments if there's something easy that we could do here. But, uh, so one of these two squares is snake, one of them is not snake. Oh, right, okay, so, so this square's got to be snake, because it's either going to go, um, it's either going to go round here and then have to turn, or it's going to go round here and have to turn, because one must effectively form a wall. Ah, now that's, that is very interesting. That is very interesting. Because if we're trying not to connect these regions together too quickly, it's not possible now for these both to go upwards, is it? Because if they both go upwards, you know, this would have to come in here, this would have to connect like this. But again, all of this region is unfilled so there's two ends here we can't have two ends coming in from this this snake bit at the top because otherwise we have a big problem so only and we can't have zero ends coming in from this shape at the top because that's going to force these to connect they can't get out there's only this little gap here so exactly one end of this, whatever this looks like, must come this way. And one end must go that way. And that means exactly one of these goes up and exactly one of these goes down and must come through this gap. Which is not helpful. I don't believe it. That this one could come down, this one could come down. But you can, I don't think you can tell which 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 one does. This could go up. Bother. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'm onto something with that, but I don't know what. Um, oh, now hang on, hang on a minute, because. I'm just thinking, about, I was thinking about that cell. Now, look, if that is snake, if that's snake, how many of these cells now are not snake? Well, none of those cells can be, if this is snake, none of these squares is snake because they're all orthogonal to the snake or forcing it not to turn back on itself. But now this can't be snake because it's a head or a tail and you can't force the snake to come up here because then it has to turn back on itself and hit itself. So all of those become blue and nine. Ah, that's so close. So if this is, if this is snake, you get a nine cell region and that's the maximum. So can we, can we see why that's not possible? These three would have to be snake then, because this re the blue region couldn't be any bigger. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is it. Look, what if this is if this is snake and we get this nine cell region? These three cells have got to be snake because we can't let this blue region be any larger than it is. And now this cell is key. This cell because can this cell? be um, not snake? Can it be the, the, the remaining part of the two? And the answer is no, because look now, we can't, we can't get this out. This, which connects here, it can connect up here if you want, but it's going to have to hit this very, very quickly. This entire left side of the grid is isolated. And if we try and send it down here, then we have a stranded ends of the snake. We've effectively got three snake ends in this this thing. So this has to be purple. And once it's purple, those two have to be blue. And this is three cells large. 
And that's not possible. So in fact, this square cannot be snake. That has to be blue. And there, ah, oh, now hang on, I need to go back further than that. I was wondering what on earth was going on there, but no. This is blue for sure, which means this comes up here. This has to be snake. Therefore, those three are all blue. This, this blue can't be one cell large because this is the one cell region. So it must be another cell at least. It's got to be another cell again. But that means that's forced downwards. That's the poltergeist again. Um, now, let me... How do we finish this part? Yeah. Which, which direction does this turn in? If this turns right we get the same problem with the snake. We've now got two snake ends here and two snake ends here and we can only get out once. So this whole area is isolated. So this cannot possibly turn right. This has to turn left, which makes that blue. That now the blues can't connect to the two, otherwise it'd be a five region. So that snake, that snake, this is blue. That, that, purple, this has got to be a two. This now is isolated. Look, that's got to be blue. This has got to be blue. This has got to be blue. This, uh, this one, the other, the head or the tail can't go upwards anymore because it's obviously going to end very quickly if it does. So that's blue. This is blue. This is purple. This is blue. This is blue. So this has to come out through here. And this has to connect up at the top somehow. And how do we do that? Ah. Uh, well, what? Oh. Well, one thing that's quite cute about this is look at look if it comes down and turns that way. That doesn't work because if it comes down and turns this way, I'll just show you. This blue region has now got four cells, and this blue region has four cells. So that doesn't work. So if we can rule it at coming, so if we can, we've ruled out that, if we can rule out it coming straight down, we're cooking with gas because then we know it must turn this way. So if it comes straight down, well that can't work surely because that creates an enormous blue region. That's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, that would be. No, this doesn't work. This can't come straight down because, watch this, if it comes straight down, those squares turn blue, this blue region now is now nine cells large, which means this square must be snake, which means the snake turns, and now we're developing a problem in this corner because this has got to be blue now. This has got to be blue because the snake can't reach it. But this can't be a two cell region because we've already got our two cell region. So this has to be blue. Therefore, this has to come over here. And look what the problem is now. Look at this. If this comes across one more, it creates a two cell region here, which breaks. If it turns down, it creates a three cell region here, which clashes. So this, this is not right. This... There seems to be a bird fight going on outside. Sorry about that, it's a bit annoying. Um, so this cannot come down here at all. It has to turn this way, it has to go this way. That's got to be blue. We've got the three cell region. This has to stick out one more. And, oh. Uh, Oh, sorry, I thought that was going to resolve all of this, but it's not. 
but we still have I still got a problem whenever I try and take this head or tail leftwards because whenever I I think I have I don't think this can turn left because if it turns left it must do this and now this region which which begins with a blue cell there cannot be a one two or three region so it would have to be a four cell region which would take it to there now that's a problem because it's going to isolate the two regions so whatever you do whenever you turn left here it breaks the puzzle uh, um, so this has to turn downwards and the, oh, and it's, it's the same logic. It can't turn left. It, we cannot create small regions down here because that's now going to have to be a four cell region like that in order not to be a three cell region. And now this snake is isolated, of course. So we've got to carry on down. It's got to come across here. That's going to turn blue. This has to be purple. That, that, and that have all got to be... Oh, no. Wow. Oh no, that is that's nine. Thank goodness. I suddenly realised I've got an enormous sort of sea of blue here, but it is only nine, and I need a nine, so this must be it. So this region here is nine. This therefore has to be snake. That disambiguates that this is blue. This has to be five. This must be snake to avoid the nine getting larger than nine, and that must be blue. This must be purple, and that must be blue. And look at that, we've actually got some traction here. We're going to be able to solve this, I think. Um, oh, yeah, look, 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 we can do a trick here. This 4x4 four four region at the top, is it possible there is no snake in that 4x4 four four region? Well, the answer is, of course, no. There's got to be some snake in here, otherwise that's a 16 region and breaks the rules. How do you get a snake into this region? Well, if you get the snake in, you've got to get the snake out again without touching yourself. So the only way of doing that is going to be to create sort of a parallel path of snakes coming up into this region. So that's absolutely going to be forcing this pattern Therefore, they have to be separate. This has got to come up again. This has got to come up again. This can't be a one cell region. This is seven now. We need a seven or an eight. That's got to be blue. This, they've both got to come up one more. Otherwise, we're going to have a 12 cell region. Uh, that, no, that must, that can't be. Um, we can't close off the snake there or we get an enormous blue region. So this has got to come up again. Oh, and look, this square here, if that's blue to create an 8-cell region, the snake now has to come and loop round on itself and touch itself orthogonally. Not possible. This has to be snake. Therefore, it's got to go round that corner. That's got to be blue. That can't be one cell again. That's got to be blue. The snake attaches at the top. This has got to stick out one more. This region is of size 7. Oh, I don't believe it. This is size 6. Oh, but look. These two cells have got to be blue because otherwise the snake will hit itself. And now this can't be blue. Because if this is blue, we get a 5... 11 cell region at least so that's got to be snake the snake turns down here that's got to be blue what, what, what have we not got that's a six we need a four and an eight I think that's all ah okay well you can see I can see the solution is just going to be to connect that to that that's a four region this is an eight region but let's try and prove it's the unique solution so this can't be a one so that's got to be blue um, that can't be one so that's got to be blue the snake can't get here anymore so that's got to be blue the snake now can't get here that's got to be blue now this region is of size bigger than four so we know this is the eight cell region so we know this is the four cell region so we've got to bar it off 
and that creates just enough space to finish it like that. Wow, Sirkan, that is an absolutely miraculous construction. I have no clue how you decided to try and see if that would work, but it does, and it is absolutely wondrous. Loved it, absolutely loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through it. It took me a while, but... Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.